Hello Gemini. Welcome to Guided Angel Tarot. I'm here today to do your love reading for January 2021. This is a reading for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. What's that one? We'll take that right there. And can we have one more card for my Gemini's chunks, no chunks, no chunks, no chunks, Gemini, there we go, we'll take that one, okay, these two cards actually came out in Aries, I believe, you may be dealing with an Aries, maybe not, who knows, Okay, so we have happiness, wholeness, overjoyed, and smiling. Just like that beautiful, bright sunflower. Joy, peace, harmony, contentment, ascension, spiritual path, and awakening. So you may realize that something makes you happy. You may realize the next step in your path. Reconciliation, spiritual union, or soul contract. So this does not always mean that you are getting back together with someone. This could be a new person coming in, especially with the spiritual path being here. I feel like you could be meeting a new person. All right, let's see. Let's see what we get from the tarot. Angels. Show me messages for my Gemini friends, please. Central issue, temperance, sign of Sagittarius. That is a card of patience. It is a card of healing. It also comes after the death card, which tells me that something may have ended here. And you may be in a limbo state. You may not be with the past person and you may not be with a new person so you're just kind of healing you're taking your time you're waiting it is also a card of compromise okay so let's see what else we get with that show me the challenge position is the two of cups so the challenge position would be being together with someone in harmony seeing eye to eye with someone Maybe even getting over a breakup because that would tell me that the relationship was challenging or a soulmate is challenging, which is why soulmates are here. <laughs> soulmates are supposed to be challenging. Show me Gemini, please. Let's keep going. How many is that? Two? All right. Five of Wands. Yes, there's arguments disagreements a lot of people fighting could be an internal conflict about a reconciliation if someone is trying to offer that to you ten of swords it's over so there was some type of painful ending in the past you may have been stabbed in the back betrayed but that is my nail in the coffin card it's usually over the darkness before the dawn it ended it was painful but now we can all move on so it over, it's over you're healing you might be trying to get over this relationship because the five of wands could also represent competition there may have been competition in a relationship Show me Gemini, please. Mm, too much. Hierophant was making an appearance, which tells me this could be a marriage. Hold on. Too many cards are coming out. Can we have one, maybe two? You want me to cut them? That actually seems to have been working well. Now the King of Pentacles is coming out. All right, I'm going to cut them. Let's cut, since they're coming out in chunks. They don't want to give me what I want. The chariot, sign of cancer, moving in a new direction. Chariot also represents to me being pulled into two different directions. So it's kind of like a crossroads card. It is a victory and a success card. I want to point that out. It's very important. However, 
the ending, I feel like, is victorious for you in some way, so you can move in a new direction. But with this temperance card being here and this, I feel like you're still being pulled to the past or being pulled to this relationship here. Nine of Swords, sign of Gemini. Worried, having anxiety, losing sleep over a situation. I don't know what to do. Should I go back to this person? Should I continue to move forward? Should I heal this relationship? Typical Gemini energy. <laughs> Eight of Pentacles, sign of Virgo, your sister sign. Putting effort into something, working on something, making something perfect. So that's what you may be trying to figure out, whether you want to work on something with this person or if you want to put your efforts elsewhere. Seven of Swords. Their roller attitude. Look at that. So this person was deceptive in some way. With the competition and this being here, it doesn't always, they may not have been cheating, but they certainly may have been flirting or talking to other people, or you may have caught them doing something. Hmm. Oh, I wasn't going to shuffle. Three of Pentacles in your hopes or fears. So you fear working together with this person. You know this person did something in the past. I mean, come on. We got the Ten of Swords and we got the Seven of Swords here. They obviously did something. You're worried about it. Then why would you want to reconcile? Hmm. I feel like you don't get along. You don't agree. Give me, what's the final? The moon, you're confused. <laughs> Gemini, you're always thinking, always, always thinking. You need to use your intuition here about something. Bottom of the deck is the king of pentacles. And under that is four of cups rejection. So basically it looks like here, I don't know, I don't know if you have met a new love yet. I feel like... I feel like with this temperance card, something is very fresh. An ending is very fresh. And I feel like you're worried about the future. And you're wondering if you should repair a relationship with a person who, ten of swords, seven of swords, five of wands. I mean, you know, I always sit here and say, I know it's easy for me to sit here and look at the cards and say, I don't know your situation, but why would you want to work this out with this person? The moon being your final outcome just tells me that you don't have the clarity that you need. You're thinking, you're overthinking about something. The question is, will you be happier with this person? Or will you be happier without this person? Hmm. Show me Gemini, please. Let's get you some more messages. Show me Gemini. The Eight of Pentacles in your role or attitude also signifies learning lessons in a relationship. Oh, that's three cards. Should I take these? Yes. All right. Soulmates. Well, we got that for definite sure. Soul connection, partnership, agreement, soul contracts. Healthy choices. Making healthy choices in love in life. Self-love, self-care, being happier. I feel like you're going to be happier without this person, Gemini. I'm sorry. I feel like you need to make a healthy decision here. You wouldn't be so worried about this or all up in your head about this if, if this was a good relationship. This person, this King of Pentacles, could be the person that you're dealing with. And maybe that they have, um, you know, that maybe they're a good provider, but they're a crappy, uh, significant other. I was going to say husband, wife, whatever it is, it doesn't matter. Um, twin flames, yin yang, zen balance, duality, coupling, complement each other. So I kind of feel like you need to ask yourself the question as to whether you can live with this person's faults. And maybe that's what you're saying. A twin flame and a soulmate. Wow. Twin flames. 
are very, very difficult to keep in your life. A twin flame is here to help you achieve a lesson. And sometimes that lesson isn't so great. Sometimes it's hurtful. But I feel like you're worried about going in a new direction and you're worried about leaving the past behind. But I don't feel like you get along with this person. And here you are over here, four of cups. I'm sad, I'm bored, I want something more. I don't want to do this anymore. I don't want to be in this relationship anymore. I want to put my efforts elsewhere. I want to work on something else. I'm tired of this fighting. I'm tired of this deception. I'm tired of this backstabbing. I'm tired of losing sleep at night. By the way, Gemini, you're going to have trouble sleeping. I don't think it's because of this relationship. I'm getting very vivid dreams or your dreams are keeping you awake or bad dreams. There's something here about your dreams. Maybe you need to change your eating habits with the healthy choices. That's not pertaining to the reading. I just, they said, I looked at the moon card and I heard vivid someone's having vivid dreams that's keeping them up at night or making them lose sleep all right let's just keep going with the reading angels show me additional messages for my gemini friends please what does gemini need to know all right heart to heart conversations is coming out we're going to get rid of that whole chunk too, but I'll keep that one. So there may need to be a discussion here. You may need to speak up or say something. Or you may need to break up with someone. Because I feel like you're not happy in a relationship anymore. Show me Gemini. Or... This person won't change. You could be you could be dealing with someone who's a workaholic. I got a lot of work stuff here. Eight of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles, King of Pentacles. Someone who has their own business maybe and ignores family. And maybe there's fights about this. Maybe it needs to be discussed. Show me Gemini, please. Additional messages for Gemini. I'll take that one. Make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. And I'll take one more. Come on. Why are all these cards coming out in chunks today? Too many cards is, is too confusing. Show me one more for Gemini, please. Just one. I'll take that one. Release your ex. Yep, you need to let go of something. Codependency is making an appearance as well. This person may be codependent on you. You may be the one that's the hard worker and has money because the Seven of Swords is in their role or attitude. But I feel like you, I, I really feel like they're saying make the effort to have a conversation to release someone and move on. Don't be afraid. Whatever you're thinking about, you got you got um, a lot on your mind. Whatever it is that you're thinking about, it's almost like I feel like you need to speak up or say something or something's bothering you about this person. I don't feel like you want to go back. All right, I'm going to leave that portion of the reading there. I feel like you need to ascend and move forward, climb the steps. Anyway, um, this is the Starseed Oracle, and this is a very spiritual deck. I read through it over the weekend, and the messages aren't really related to love, but I really like the book, and I wanted to start using the cards, so... I'm going to pull one for you. It may or may not resonate with the reading, but it might be a message for you besides um, what was happening in the reading. Lifting the veil, questioning everything, anything unaligned must go. So there's something that's not aligning with you and you need to let go of it. And I feel like you're confused or you're worried or you're having anxiety. I actually feel like you need to break up with someone. 
I feel like you're tired of putting an effort into a relationship. And I feel like if you broke up with this person, maybe you would be happier. I don't know. It's going to resonate with so many people in so many different ways. But let's see what this says. Um, lifting the veil. So stop being blinded by a situation. Rip the blindfold off of your eyes and see something for what it is. Things aren't always as they seem. This era is one of uncovering mis- truths so we can remember ancient truths everything is in a state of recall and realignment anything that isn't in harmony with the planet will not survive this goes for society and the world at large as well in our own lives if you pull this card you're being called to energetically scan your life for things that may no longer be a vibrational match for who and how you've grown to dismantle the systems and ways of being that once served you and others, but no longer do. Some star seeds are here to lift the veil between the seen and unseen worlds, to shine a light on things that are inauthentic or unaligned with the survival and well-being of Earth, to stand for and protect those who don't have a voice, to look deeper and question everything that previous generations did not. Some star seeds cannot tolerate things that aren't congruent. They are here to bring society and humanity back into harmony with the planet and the creator at large. If we tolerate things in our life that aren't aligned with congruent and congruent with it, we add to the misalignment of the planet. You are being called to trust yourself, notice what's out of alignment, and then take baby steps required to bring something back into harmony. This is no easy feat, but it is worthwhile, both individually and for the planet. How are you being called to bring something back to harmony? Okay, so if you're in a relationship with a person, I feel like they may need to stop doing something, um, stop weighing on you, stop borrowing money from you, stop flirting with others. There's a lot of things here that it seems that there needs to be a conversation about in a relationship. Queen of Pentacles. We got Queen and the King of Pentacles here, soulmates. Healthy choices, maybe someone has an addiction to, you know, it could be drugs or alcohol or something like that. Maybe there needs to be a conversation about that. But I think, I feel like, because I'm getting like two things, you know, you, you, there could be a relationship, this, this codependency is addictions are affecting your romantic life and this healthy choices tells me that there's something wrong here in this relationship and it needs to be fixed. And if it can't be fixed, then basically you need to realize that it can't be fixed and you need to move on. But I do feel like something is fixable here. So like whatever you're stressed out about, maybe you need to speak up. All right, I'm going to leave that there, Gemini. I do hope I was able to help someone with this reading today. Thank you so much for watching. Good luck with your situation and I will see you soon.